Hey, Glenn, how you doing? Good. Good, good. Congratulations on the 20th anniversary of Batman Beyond. Holy Time flies. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> now, I remember when this show came out, and I love the concept. Uh, talk a bit about, um, you know, when you guys pitched this concept. Like, why, what, what is it about it that you think, like, oh, this is going to be gold. This is going to work. Uh, you know, we don't really think that way. I mean, I think we're just trying to make the best show that we can. Mm. And we're just trying to make the, the show that we want to see. So uh, I think Bruce... Uh, we, you know, and Alan were faced with some challenges and came back and we all discussed it. And this was the show we came up with. So uh, I don't think our intention is like, hey, let's make a hit show. I think our, uh, we go into it going, what's the best show we can make? Now, I want to ask, because um, we were bummed out there were no season four. But now I think it's time to get Bam Bam Beyond back for our social media generation, don't you think? I, I agree, <laughs> but that's not my decision to, to, to make. So uh, I, I think we um, tried to make the show the best that we could. And I think, you know, uh, uh, I think we had more stories to tell. But um, whether or not there'll be more, I, you know, it's, it's up to other people. Last question before I let you go. Sure. Why do you think this show has lasted this long, that it's beloved by many, so many all, all, all these years? Um, because I think it's part of the Batman mythos, and I think it's true to who Batman is, but I think it's a different take on the character, um, but it still feels like Batman. Hi, Stan. How's it going? Uh, real good. Real good. good. Congratulations on the 20th anniversary of Batman Beyond, one of my favorite series of all time. Talk about, uh, take me to 20 years ago, like uh, when they pitched the show and uh, where were you uh, and what made you want to be involved with the project? Actually, when this thing was being pitched, I was at a different studio. Oh, okay. I had been at Warner's for a long time and then I got a deal at Universal for a few months. So all that, all that pitching stuff was happening without me. But what they did, Alan and Paul, Alan Burnett and Paul Dini had worked out a, an outline for the pilot and then they'd written the first, the first uh, part of the pilot, and they asked me to take the outline and turn that into a, uh, you know, script. While I was still at another studio, so I was pretty busy working, you know, the daytime at the one studio and then working at night on the, uh, on the pilot screen. It's very challenging. No, it was also quite the risk because you're taking the torch from Bruce Wayne to this guy named Terry McGinnis. You know, there were many. Um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, many other iterations of Joker or you know, other characters over the years, but there's only one Bruce Wayne. So, like, that's a pretty risky move, right? Well, I think the audience is invested enough in him to want to see Bruce as an old man. I think there's a huge curiosity factor. What would he be like? Would he be happy? Would he mellow out? Or would he be worse? Turned out he was worse. <laughs> Angrier and, and less, and even more unhappy and grouchy. I love it. And Kevin Conroy did a good job with that. Last week, before I let you go, um, we didn't get season four. A lot of shows came back the, uh, these years, like in Will and Grace, The X-Files came back. Do you think Batman Beyond might come back for the social media generation today? I've heard of no plans to bring it back, <laughs> but, but if the Blu-ray does well, I think you know, Warners may sit up and take notice because there is some unproduced Batman Beyond material. Oh, unproduced. Unproduced. It was uh, material written by Alan Burnett, Paul Dini, and Boaz Yakin back 20 years ago. It's a feature-length idea, and Warner Brothers owns it. And I don't think there's anything stopping Warner Brothers from turning it into an animated uh, movie. Keeping my fingers crossed, sir. Me too.